All right, guys. So we have both of these boxes here that we're going to be taking a look at. I've subscribed to both for about three months, and I'm ready to make a decision as to which one I think is the better box. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So a little preface here. Um, I opened this early, and so we're going to hop into this one first. Um, you know, I was saving them both to do a, a full unboxing on here, uh, as I've done in the past, and for whatever reason, I decided to open this early, and I have been trying to think of a nice way to go about this box, and I just can't think of it. Let me show you what I mean. So when we open this, we get a letter here. And the letter states that due to weather, you know, um, the hurricanes running through Florida, the, they would not be getting uh, their premier item in time to go out with the shipment. And that's understandable, okay? So let's take a look at this whole thing here. Now, we got our obligatory stickers. There's a couple there. Uh, we got some... These are actually really cool. These are rubber motor mount pads. Okay, they're not foam. They're they're definitely something rubberized, or they're some sort of polymer foam, you know, um, some sort of rubberized foam, but they are not your standard TPU uh, material, and to be honest, they feel like they might do a slightly better job at isolating some of those um, high-end frequencies. So, another sticker. I'll be honest, guys, don't really care about the stickers. This is... I guess it's cool. The, they don't really mean much to me. And they have no value as far as I'm concerned. This here is a GoPro Session skin. So, for people that care to go about throwing some swag onto their uh, sessions... They can do that. As far as, as far as I'm concerned, that's a sticker, and maybe it's not fair to say that, but it's a sticker, and I'm not really interested. Next, we've got a drone drop headband, head strap for goggles. Now, I'll be honest, this feels good now. It's a little thinner than a lot of the other straps that I've seen, and I'm not, I don't know whether that's good or bad, because any of you guys that follow me know that I am a box goggle guy. Now, I'm a box goggle guy because I have tried on uh, goggle style, binocular style, whatever you want to call them, uh, fat shark goggles, and I don't care for the tunnel effect that I get. I much prefer the image that I get from the box goggles, and so I use Kylan Visions, which means that these here don't have much value to me. Now, <clears throat> I don't devalue this because of that. I'm just saying that that's not going to have a ton of value for everybody. You know, a little feedback for this, things like this, you might want to try to stick to something that's a little more universal for, for all of your subscribers. And then we did have some pink tissue paper in here that I angrily just kind of crumpled up and threw, threw away. Uh, but last we got three packs of Racecraft 5046s. Now those are nice, those are cool too. Okay? But there's something missing here. So I had to head over to the website and take a look. And luckily they listed what was supposed to be there. Uh, and it's one of these motor gripper pliers so when you're changing your motors you can grip them and loosen your nut and you can put props on take the uh, and you can put props on and take props off easier now here's my problem with this box and I'm going to include that when I went through and I tallied up the value of everything even with the item that was in there and I tried I even went against what I normally do and tried to make it worth a few more dollars. And this box is nowhere near 
what the cost of the box is, let alone greater than what the box is. Um, yeah, so Cameron, if you see this, I'm going to tell you, you just lost a subscriber. You, you can't do this. You can't do this to people. You can't say that, you know, you're going to put a minimum value in every box and come buy my box. And, and I'm not talking about this, okay, this letter. I'm not talking about that. That's cool that you wanted to send out what you had so that people got their subscriptions and that you're going to send out the rest later. But this box, even with that, is complete garbage. And this, as far as I'm concerned is the major reason why I am unsubscribing. Not this box in particular, okay? Now let's talk about Drone Drop. Drone Drop is highly inconsistent as to the value that you get in the box. Um, it's highly inconsistent to the value that even the user is going to see because of items like this that are going to be more tailored for one set of people than another. I... The value's not here. With Drone Drop, it's a risk. Now, their split box, to me, was, was great. It was fantastic. It was, you know, even with the idea that some users got things, uh, that some subscribers got things that others didn't, um, just in a difference, in a variance of a product, has no bearing on the value that was in there. Five motors, not even four. You guys know the rule of five. If you're going to buy something for a quadcopter, you buy five so that you have a spare, right? I mean, they totally nailed that box, but they've had other months where the value of the items adding up are sort of questionable, or they're sort of borderline to, to what's spent on the box. So I'm sorry, but uh, this was a severe disappointment. So moving on. Moving on to the quad box. Now this I have not opened yet, so I'm really hoping this is better. I have a feeling it is, but... Alright, right away I have something that strikes my eye, and that is a 5 inch X hover frame. So I don't know much about this frame, to be honest with you, the Win 5. But uh, I like getting a frame. I like getting frames, period. I go through a lot of frames, so that to me is a lot of value. Off to a great start. Okay, these are actually kind of cool. These are sliders. Now they're polymer, they're plastic, but that, that has no bearing. These are sliders that go on the underside of your motor mount so that when you are setting down, there's little feet. And the way they're shaped, even on concrete and blacktop and the such, you're going to be able to get a little slide going on. So that's pretty cool. Oh, Rotor Riot props sold in pairs. 5 by 4.8. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Huh. So three full sets of props. Very cool. That outdoes what, what most of the boxes are doing right there. Okay, here come the obligatory stickers, it looks like. Now, this is great. There's some humor there. Any Game of Thrones fans will appreciate that. Oh, make sure to cover that up. 15% off at tinywhoop.com. That's not bad. I'm not a whooper, at least not yet, but uh, I've been thinking about getting into it, so... I'll go ahead and give that a spin. Yep. <laughs> These nuts. Oh, I love high school humor. That's cool. And then last, we have the t-shirt. 
Now, the last shirt that came through, I'm a big guy, as you guys know, if you guys watch the rest of my stuff. And it uh, didn't quite fit me, but that's okay. I found somebody who was more than happy to wear it, so. And it made sense to them once I explained the hobby ruiner thing, so. That's actually a really cool shirt. I hope this one's just a little bit on the larger side. It appears like it may not be. No worries. So. Once again, we have some great value coming in here. Let me throw some of this stuff back in here. This right here, the props, you know, minor value here. Now the shirt's worth, you know, 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, but this right here is bound to be, what, a $50, $60 frame at least? So, muy bueno. Ooh, and this snuck in here. I didn't see that hiding in the back. A uh, 2.5 millimeter hex head driver. That right there has uh, um upped the ante a little bit. Very nice inclusion. Now, as I said, I have some opinions at this point, and I'm going to be flat-out blatant with it. If somebody comes and asks me which box has the better value or what box should I subscribe to, hands down, no contest, go with the quad box. Okay? Consistently. And, and here's the key term. Consistently quad box provides better value for the cost than drone drop and what really throws me off this month when you look at the value of the items in this box I'm sure I'm I'm sure everybody's gonna agree with me that this box we paid way more for it than what it cost them to stuff it and so that that right there, that, that's a fatal mistake. You don't tell people that you guarantee a certain dollar amount and then come short of it. You just don't. And I'm sure somewhere somebody's going to argue that, well, the value, you know, this is a $30 strap or some garbage like that. And if you're putting stuff in here that may not be universally desired, I don't know. So, drone drop you've got some work to do. You have to consistently get better stuff to put into the boxes and you've got to do a better job at sourcing value items. Whoever your purchaser is, get a new one.